the quarter. Winderman second on the outside of third. The marker pegs late bedden the length the happy feet with the trail. Three quarters away to Roman Origin travelling on the inside followed by Alatomo. Around two having the National Trot Guide Club's colours. A length to he's on the track. Nikisha next to last at a length last of all was Limousine Dundee. No moves as they head down the side of the track. The highway side top turn in front is out attack. Leads by a length and a quarter. Winderman second. Third late bid on the inside of it and a further half to happy feet who's enjoying in the run of the race. It's on the outside of Roman Origin, a length further back to Alatomo. A half length away on the inside to have followed by He's on the track. Next to last was Nikisha patiently driven at a length last of all was Limousine Dundee. By the judge, a mile left to go. It's hard attack in front. The United States bred horse leads out of the straight towards the 1400 lead time 73.3. It's leads a length. Winderman second ahead away. Third, the leader's back was late bid. Followed on the outside by Happy Feet covering up Roman Origin. One by two on the running line was Alatomo followed by two have who's over racing on the inside of he's on the track a length next to last was Nikisha at a length and a quarter last of all was Limousine Dundee they head down the back straight 1300 metres out still no change it's out attack in front pilots the field in the Bathurst City Gold Cup it's leads a about a half length over Winder Man who's on the outside of it without a trail a neck third on the inside late bid and a length the happy feet followed by Roman Origin on the inside of Alatomo a half length the two have he's on the track now Greg Bennett makes a move on the favourite Nikisha and Limousine Dundee Jason Proxter, the S tag behind it around the home turn about 900 metres left to go, it's hard attack in front, leads by a half length, Winderman second, Nikisha sustains the run up three wide, followed by late bit on the inside wedged away, happy feet having a soft run in the middle, followed by Limousine Dundee with a tag behind Nikisha though be it three wide, from two heaven Roman Origin racing together a length and a half he's on the track, last Alatomo quarters 33-2, quickening up to 30 two seconds for the second quarter of the mile they head down the back inside the 500 out attacks under siege Winderman second third Nikisha three wide followed by late bit on the inside and a half to happy feet from limousine Dundee cluttered up in the middle Roman origin followed by two have Alatomo at a half last of all he's on the track at the top turn 400 meters out out attack staves the challenges for the moment leads by a neck over Winderman second third Nikisha still out 3D followed by happy feet having a soft run but it's cluttered up now limousine Dundee D4 wide late bid still can't get a look in around the home turn out attack just in from Winderman the middle Nikisha's under pressure late bid back to the inside Limousine Dundee right down the outer it's hard attack a half length in front they're swabbing at Limousine Dundee and on the inside late bid but out attack in front out attack wins the cup out attack has won from late bid third Limousine Dundee followed by Winderman Nikisha Roman Origin behind those Alatomo two have happy feet and one of the last ones in was he's on the track Art attack number three, taken to the front by Peter Tritton. It's been a winning move, 450 and 180. One late bid, two dollars, eight limousine, Dundee, a dollar and forty cents. Art attack. Late bid was right behind it. Art attack just kept kicking. Winderman under pressure. Limousine Dundee on the outside of Nikisha, who was checked behind it. But Art Attack hangs on. At the box is Singleton. Here's the latest bidding figures for New South Wales players. It's race number nine and... The running of the uh, Canterbury Stakes, Hilt, Easy Rocking all the rage. Good evening to you for the first time. $1.80 Easy Rocking. Good tip around LA Suez at a longer price. 10.20 set, light on. All ready to jump. And the gates release. Sabinicio away well, but high rolling scooted out of the gate. Landed three quarters in front of Guineas. Dance beat wide out showing speed. Al Mansour not far away and Abinicio going up on the fence. Two links away to Beedman on easy rocking. He's going to ride him very cull back third last. Two links referral and Ali Suez on his outside. 800 metres to go on the three-year-old. High rocking found the paint leading three quarters on the former golden slipper winner Guineas. One away is Abinicio on the inside of Dance beat. One and a half to Al Mansour. Easy rocking sliding around him. Two lengths away referral and still Alay Suez trails the field. 600 metres out and high rolling in front. Half dip there led by a long neck on Guineas going closer. Two lengths ab initio in a lock firm pocket being kept under due arrest by dance beat as they wheel the bend. Two lengths to Easy Rocking yet to be sent forward. Coming around him referral. They start their runs together. Al Mansour shuffle back from Alay Suez. High rolling in front. 300 metres out on the outside. Guineas and Easy Rocking with a great sprint coming after them.
Palmer. Abanishi over the fence and then referral. It's Easy Rocking going to the front. Guineas is going to give him a fight. It's Easy Rocking in front of Guineas and referral, but the three-year-old's in front. Easy Rocking and he's a class above them and he wins it. Goes home, wins a half length on the line to referral. Guineas a photo third from Al Mansour and Abanishio, then LA Suez. Well back high rolling and dance beat last in. Seven easy rocking, a dollar ninety, a dollar eighty, and one seventy. A few anxious moments looming up to Guineas, but able to overpower him and then hold referral, doing his best work at the end. So the Group Two Canterbury Stakes going the way of the Ron Quinton trained easy rocking Darren Beatman, the rider. Albion Park in five. You're so vain at three twenty. Eight forty for Watch Me Dance. Bronte Bay is paying sixteen. Dad's the best at three twenty. Life's Reward, 24, Got Potential, 83, Atomic Pleasure, 33, Turka Kiwi, 46, with Park Superfector placings to be advised. Let's go to Bathurst for the Gold Crown. Here's Rod Fuller. John Gate, 3, Paddy Shannon, 140 the win, 104 for the place. Field moves into the straight, stand by for a start. There's the light. Arms fold, they're away and racing in the gold crown final. Paddy Shannon began only moderately and was tightened up soon after the start. Franco Sullivan takes Apollo Greed straight to the front. Breaking out the back was Rossi Brown. The lead time was 8.3 and in front Apollo Greed clearly by a length and a half. Second Falcons folly not travelling well, followed by third the outside Tromos and a half length back and pulling fiercely ships in the night. In the middle was Daniel Breeze, out three wide was Roderick John. The pace becomes muddling. Paddy Shannon's got shunted a long way back but now makes a move three wide a length and a half to Chairman Stan followed by the zipper next to last and after breaking at the start Rossi Brown's five lengths away at the rear at the top turn Apollo Greed in front leads by about three quarters of a length but the fave Paddy Shannon works up second now a length was Falcon's Folly racing a bit more generously followed on the outside of it by Roderick John with a trail behind the favourite Ships of the Night is still pulling fiercely Tromos is one by two a length and a half to Daniel Breeze as the bell sounds followed on the outside by Chairman Stan. The zipper next to last and two lengths last of all was Rossi Brown by the judge in the gold crown final for 2000. Apollo Greed just in front but Paddy Shannon is cruising up to a applying pressure now. Quarters 31 and 30.7 as they head towards the back. It's Apollo Greed in front by a long neck. Over second on the outside was Paddy Shannon. A length and a half third Falcons folly Greg but it now rolls off the marker pegs. Pratting Roderick John out three wide. Ships in the night the inside under enormous pressure followed by Tromos a length further back to Daniel Breeze followed by Chairman Stan next to last was the zipper and last of all was Rossi Brown at the top turn Paddy Shannon gets a long neck in from Apollo Greed still there on the inside Falcons folly peeling out three wide followed by ships in the night and Tromos Chairman Stan around them followed on the inside by Daniel Breeze but around the home turn it's Paddy Shannon in front Bernie Hewitt now applies some pressure and the horse responds gets a half length in front. The outside Falcons folly running on, followed by Tromos. It's Paddy Shannon just in front. Tromos is flying. Tromos will win the gold crown. Tromos too good. Tromos a half length. Paddy Shannon second. Falcons folly third. From ships in the night, Chairman Stan, Apollo Greed, the zipper. Behind those next was Daniel Breeze, followed next to last by Rossi Brown. And last of all in gold crown 2000 is Roderick John. Tromos, number two, right down the outside, 8.50 and 150, has just claimed three Paddy Shannon, 104, one Falcon's Folly, $1.30. Tromos moved up on the outside, Paddy Shannon, Bernie Hewitt after a tardy beginning, moved around them, set up on the outside of Apollo Greed, then around the home turn, was under pressure, Hewitt went for the whip, Falcon's Folly, Greg Bennett, Drove the horse to a nicety, rolled off the marker pegs in plenty of time and was moving up to challenge Paddy Shannon and right down the outside, Tromos, who was one by three throughout, has motored home, Paddy Shannon in front, Falcon's Folly in the middle and right down the outside, Ross Payne aboard the Noel Alexander trained two-year-old brown and black colt, Tromos, and Tromos takes gold crown final 2000 should be two tromos ross payne over three patty shannon bernie hewitt and one falcon's folly greg bennett third should be two three and one after the gold crown final for 2000. what a win big sprint ross ready to jump starting at the top of the stretch the start point of the cup and the guineas 
and they're ready to go and the gates release. Alex Field seemed to sprawl a little bit at the start. He was a clear last out for Bill White out away quickly and Kugelhoff with the red cap again well. Alex Field mustering speed and I Spy with the black and green going forward. It's I Spy being headed by four Bill White out. Alex Field in the centre third. Kugelhoff fourth as they race to the post. Going up on the inside swing on a star. One away strange mighty Padrill and Big Milano dropped out to the tail of the field and given time by De Montfort to balance up and find his feet. Four Bill crossed in the turn out of the straight at the 1500 peg lent uh, clear by a length on I Spy. Leaders racing one away from the fence. Alex Field going up. One back Kugelhoff around swing on a star. Strange outside the other grey Mighty Padrill and Big Milano trails. Over the 1200 crossing and Stanley had four Bill in charge. With the mouth open went clear by more than the length on the Yankee horse Alex Field and three quarters the mayor I Spy. One a half Kugelhoff well positioned by Marshall with swing on a star on the fence fifth. One back Strange then Mighty Padrill and Big Milano. Seven lengths covers the field 900 metres out and it's four Bill making the pace. Four Bill over a length in front of Alex Field and I Spy close up on the fence. Two lengths away Kugelhoff I Spy uh, in front of it then came swing on a star three quarters back is strange around mighty padrill and still big milano last as they come to the 650 trying to do it all the way in the front is four bill he's leading by more than the length on alex field creeping closer i spy spat the bit there here comes strange around the outside of kugelhoff and they come with their runs together one away is swing on a star badly snookered as mighty padrill improves and big milano last and being hard ridden as they turn the bend 350 to go four bill and alex field will corner together alex field upsides to four bill and he's got his nose in front i spy ran into swing on a star from strange and mighty padrill and kugelhoff with a kick four bill fought on he's raced away again at the 100 four bill over length on alex field then swing on a star getting home and down the center mighty padrill he is absolutely rocketing home after four bill four bill in front and fell in four bill just beat mighty padrill who flashed the last hundred meters swing on a star third from alex field and strange then big milano kugelhoff and i spy last in. Bendigo Pacing Cup and they're starting to move up. Singleton 230 Julie Ritz 710 Dakota Blue. Cup winner and Inter Dominion runner up getting set. Brini's fellas, the stablemate Tupelo Rose, has been sold to new interests. Tony Clifford and Peter Taylor from the Harness Racing Weekly will be reporting on the story in the edition later in the week. Tupelo Rose but uh, has been sold to American interests but will continue to race over here with Ted Demler in Australia despite being sold. That's the great filly Tupelo Rose. Her stablemate Brini's Feller is the second favourite behind TaylorMade Lombo set for the cup and the green lights on and away they go now. Uh, getting out very swiftly in the middle of the track was super. It's doing its best to cut across in front of the face of the field and is able to. From TaylorMade Lombo, three white L's caught and over on the inside hushed world. Super in front but TaylorMade Lombo going up on the outside of it. Away from the pegs now, Sky Strike is fifth. Then in sixth spot, Country Duke and seventh on the inside, Captain Rufus. Then simply Electric, Winbro away from the pegs. Five metres, Brini's fella. Six metres to Cole Bruce. And show of hands is settling down at the tail end as TaylorMade Lombo has been able to roll to the lead. Coming down the straight with two circuits to go. And TaylorMade Lombo shooting for six wins in a row. She's four metres in front, super second. In third spot, Els Court. Sky Strike now comes out and Winbro. So the stable are going forward. They're off the track three deep. Sky Strike's about to get up outside the leader and Winbro continues on with its run three deep. Now three back the inside was Hushed World. Then came Country Duke on the outside of Captain Rufus who racing on the pegs. Four metres to Simply Electric and then show of hands Breenies Fella and six metres away Cole Bruce as they go down the back. Lead time in 58.9 and Taylor made Lombo the leader by a neck now to Winbro. Third on the inside Super. In the 1-1 one, one was Sky Strike. Three back the inside was a former winner of this race in Hushed World. Outside of it was Els Court. Then another former winner of the race, Captain Rufus from two years ago. It's four back the inside of Country Duke. Next is Show of Hands and then Simply Electric. Breenies Feller is back second last, about 30 metres off the lead. And five metres away last of all is Cole Bruce. First quarter in 30 seconds as they work into the straight with a 1,000 metres to go. And it's the million dollar mare, Taylor made Lombo in front. With Alfred leads by a neck. Second is Winbro. Super the inside, third of Sky Strike. 
break. In fifth position, Hushed World, three back the inside of Ells Court. Pace looks good with a lap to go. Four back the inside, Captain Rufus on the inside of Country Duke. Then show of hands, Simply Electric going forward, now three deep. Brenny's fellow second last and five metres to Cole Bruce. Second quarter, 29.3, so they've picked it up again. And Taylor made Lombo turns into the back and led by a neck. Winbro second, Super third, fourth Sky Strike. Then Hushed World, Country Duke came out three deep and quickly whizzes up on the outside of Ells Court. Making ground, show of hands, Simply Electric. Brenny's fella trying to get up behind them and then Captain Rufus and Cole Bruce. 500 left to travel. Taylor made Lombo led by a metre. Winbro called on now. Country Duke got to third, then Sky Strike. Round the outside, running on now. Was show of hands, but Taylor made Lombo. Alford goes for home. Third quarter, 28.4, and she raced away. Taylor made Lombo six metres to Winbro. Then Country Duke, show of hands, and Brenny's fella. But it's the million dollar mare, Taylor made Lombo. She's got a huge gap in them. Brenny's fella's charging home. Taylor made Lombo 10 metres in front. Look at the ground. Brenny's fella's made up, but Taylor made Lombo wins the cup. Taylor made Lombo wins, and all credit to her, but what a run the runner up. Brenny's fella's charged home to get second. Third, a show of hands, a big run either it or Country Duke from uh, Sky Strike. Uh, Winbro, uh, those tied out of it, or Winbro's run fourth, and then Hushed World, Simply Electric, Cole Bruce, Captain Rufus, Country Duke, Ells Court, Sky Strike weekend, and uh, Super also dropped out of it, final quarter 29.1. Number five, Taylor made Lombo, Chris Alford. He knew what he had, and he dashed away to set up a winning break, and although Brenny's fellas cut it down, he was never really going to uh, get to Taylor made Lombo. And show of hands, a mighty run to grab third. Fourth in will be Country Duke, number nine, and Winbro, fifth. So it's 5, 11, 13. 158, six the mile rate. And she's now had uh, six wins in succession, Taylor made Lombo, completing a terrific night for Noel Alexander and uh, Jane Davies. They were able to score with uh, one of the feature events in uh, Bathurst tonight. And uh, they've been able to uh, take out the uh, Bendigo Cup. The gold crown final went to Tramos, Ross Payne, uh, a little uh, while ago. And they've uh, taken Taylor made Lombo to six consecutive wins. What a mighty mare she is. Breenie's fella, a Herculean run to come from where he did. And 13, show of hands, a great performance as well. 5, 11, 13, Taylor made Lombo by Troublemaker from Butterfly Trunky. A brown mare 5, owned by Lombo Standard Breds, managed by Mick Lombard. Off single. Well, some metres in the cup with 61 seconds, Joe. 61 seconds, the first thousand. Fairway went 63 seconds. Uh, he was able to get away with Murder York. Racing. Simone slow to go, El Zabana going back shortly after the kick and Zaquita near the fence began smartly. Bozeman showing speed, looking for the front. Final forecast and Campomani's not far away and there's Bowood Forest going up and wider still Guitars. He's about to be set alight as Bowood Forest leads but Guitars is going to head him. Bowood Forest third the outside and Kingwin rushing around the outside going to fourth and will be second shortly. Two away final forecast around Zaquita. One away my Ala Red Campomani's. Then came Astro Boy, Simone, El Zabana and King of Atlantis last of all. Guitars put on the speed. Turned it on down the back and went clear. He's going hard two at the 950, leading two and a half King win. Similar margin third is Bowood Forest from Bozeman on the fence. One away is final forecast. He's getting a nice run around the mare's equator. Two links to Myala Red on a limb around Camp Amani's. On the fence then is Astro Boy from Simone, El Zabana and King of Atlantis. Guitars is well clear. 600 metres to go on the little Saddler's Wells entire race. Five in front of King win Racing. Two links to Bowood Forest. Bozeman the fence from final four. Casts to the rail. Coming wide, Myella Red Camp. Amani's well back. Seven off the lead from Simone El Zabana. Astro Boy and King of Atlantis in the straight and Guitars the leader. Two links on King Win and Bowood Forest from Bozeman. Final four. Cast to the outside and Zaquita about to shoulder out. Camp Amani's wide out running home fairly. Bowood Forest hit the front at the 100. King Win trying to level up. Zaquita starting to flash. Zaquita with the big guns after Bowood Forest and King win. Zaquita hit the lead and Zaquita won the money. Zaquita has beaten Bowood Forest. King win third. I think a nose in front of Camp Amani's from Bozeman. They were followed by Guitars, then final forecast and Simone. Well back Astro Boy, El Zabana, Mayala Red and King of Atlantis last the trip. Zaquita. Ridden by Glenn Boss. Trained by Kevin Robinson. Has come with a well-timed run. She had a bit run the fence. Got away from the rail. Did Boss at about the 500 metres mark. And she's come with a very, very strong burst. After Bowood Forest had hit the front at the 200 mark, Kingwin was coming back at him. 
Then Zaquita, Campomani's very one-paced on the outside, grinding home well. But Zaquita gains the upper hand, and the numbers are confirmed. It's eight, nine, and three. Eight, nine, and three, Zaquita Glenboss for Kevin Robinson. Uh, her recent former last start, fourth at Kembla Grange. That was her first run back from a spell, so second up at the 1,550. She's been too good for a very defiant Bowood Forest who continues to race in great form, paying $3.50, and King win $3, in fact, two twenty. Didn't have a great deal of luck in the early stages from his wide alley, and Camp Amani's finishing close up, I'd imagine, in a round fourth position. So it's 893 on the last at Canterbury Park. Terry Bailey uh, there tonight. Albion Park and Peace Council's paying. Sir, a late scratch.